Hey guys, in this video, we are going to learn how you can send emails from your WordPress localhost. So this is our site. You can see that we have an e-commerce website. We used WooCommerce to build it and we're using the Bloxy theme. We also have a lot of products over here and we also have a contact page. Let's click on contact page. And down here, you can see that there's a form over here with the first name last name, email address, phone number, subject line, and a message. So we are going to also check if our form is working. And we're also going to check um, when we purchase a product, if that product information or purchase confirmation email is sent properly. Okay, so for now, let's go back to our WordPress dashboard and let's start this tutorial. Okay, so first we are going to um, install our plugin. Okay, so hover your mouse over plugins and click on add new. And from here, we are simply going to type SMTP over here. And you can see there are various options, the WP mail SMTP by WP forms, which is the most popular SMTP plugin. There's the post SMTP, there's the fluent SMTP, and then there's easy WP SMTP. Okay, so you can use any of these if you want, but make sure it's uh, compatible with your version of WordPress. Okay, so we are going to be using the um, easy WP SMTP by SendLayer. Okay, so it has over 600,000 active installations and it's compatible with our version of WordPress. So we're going to simply click on this install now button and wait for the plugin to install. Okay, it's installed. Now let's click on activate. Okay, so our plugin has been activated. So it also has a setup process which you can uh, click on this button to get started, but we are going to be setting it up manually. So let's click over here that says go back to dashboard. Okay, so we're here in the settings. So SMTP, easy WP SMTP is over here and there's the settings. So how can you set up your SMTP? So there's a documentation over here. Okay, so here's the documentation for easy WP SMTP. Um, here you can see that they're um, showing you how easy it is to set up. Simply go to uh, settings. From here, select other SMTP mailer. If you prefer other SMTP mailer, such as Amazon, Mailgun, or uh, Microsoft Outlook, Send, Send in Blue, SMTP, etc., you can select those. But we will be using the other SMTP. So after you select that, you have to put in your host name, type of encryption, SMTP port, um, then the SMTP authentication, username and password, etc. So I'll show you how all these are done, but the important thing that we are going to be needing are these information. Okay, so we're going to be setting up our SMTP for Gmail or Google Workspace. So let's go back to our WordPress dashboard. Okay, so from here we are simply going to scroll down and select the other SMTP. From here, if we scroll down, we need the SMTP host. So for Google, the SMTP host is, let's go to the documentation. The SMTP host is this one, so let's copy it. Now let's go back to our WordPress dashboard and paste it over here. And for type of encryption, we are going to be selecting the SSL. And you can see as we selected the SSL, we already got our SMTP port, which is 465. So if we go back to the documentation, you can see that it already tells us the port number is either 587 or 465 if you're using the SSL encryption. Okay, so let's get back to our WordPress dashboard. Okay, so the auto TLS is on the SMTP authentication. So we need our username and password. Okay. So for username, we can use our email address. So for SMTP password, we actually need to set it up. While we're on the subject, I'll also show you how you can set up your two-factor authentication for your Google, okay? So let's go to our email address. So this is our email address. And from here, I'm going to click on this profile icon over here and then click on manage your Google accounts. Okay, so from here, we are going to select the security tab and we are going to scroll down over here and here you can see that two-step verification so our two-step verification is already turned on so we can click on over here and you must actually put in your password to log into your security panel okay so we have um, logged into our two-step verification security panel so if your two-step verification is turned off you can simply turn it on from here and follow these steps enter your uh, device number where through where you're going to get your two-step verification code the process is really simple 
So after that, simply scroll down. And from here, you can see there's an option called app passwords. Okay, so we are going to click on this arrow over here. And you can see that it tells us to select an app and select a device. So from here, we're going to click on this drop down and select mail. And from the select device, we are going to select our Windows computer. Okay, then we are going to click on this generate button. Okay, so let's wait. And here it is. Here's the password. Okay, so we are going to copy this password. And then we're going to click on done. Okay, so let's get back to our WordPress dashboard. And from here, we are going to paste in our password. Okay, so that's done. So let's scroll down now. And here it says the from email address. And the name of the site should be my shop. And there's the advanced settings. We can see reply to email address, BCC. So we do not need to go through all these. Okay, so let's deactivate this and let's click on save settings. Okay, so our settings uh, were successfully saved. Now let's test if our email is working or not. So let's go to send a test over here. And now from here, we are going to send an email to one of our accounts. Okay, so this is the email address where we are going to send our email. So currently the HTML is selected. If you want, you can also send a custom email. So let's go ahead and select a custom email. All right, so let's turn it on. Let's scroll down. So from here, let's select a subject and let's type in a message. Okay, so our subject is test email and our message is this is a test email from your local host WordPress website. Okay, so let's click on this uh, send test email button. Okay, so the test plain text email was sent successfully. Now let's really find out if the email was delivered or not. All right, so let's log into our email. And you can see that we already have the WordPress test email over here. So if we click on it, you can see that test mail, this is a test email from your local host WordPress website. So it's working perfectly. So let's go back to our WordPress dashboard. So basically that is how you can use EasyWPSMTP to send um, emails from your local host. Okay, so everything is working perfectly. For other advanced options, for example, the export, if you want to export the email logs, uh, you need to upgrade to the pro version of Easy WP SMTP. Okay. But if you simply need to test if the email function in your WordPress website is working or not, you can use this free version to do so. Okay. So let's actually go to our website and check if our forms are working or not. Okay. Let's go to our contact form. Okay. So from here, we have a form built with WP forms. So we're going to simply put in our first name, last name, email address, phone number, subject and message and click on the send button. OK, so let me fill these out quickly. OK, so I have filled in all the details and now we're going to click on the send message button to send our email. OK, now it says thanks for contacting us. We will be in touch with you shortly. So now let's go to our email address and see if the message was sent successfully or not. So we're here in our email address. Now let's check our inbox. As you can see, we have received the email over here. Now let's click on it and we can see over here. As you can see, it says John Doe and the email address is over here and the single line text. We actually haven't properly customized our form. That's why it says single line text instead of phone number. And the subject is over here, comment or message. It says hello from WP shop. So it's working perfectly. Okay, so now let's get back to our WordPress dashboard. Now we can say for certain that our form is working. Okay, so let's go back to our homepage. And now let's try to purchase a product and see if our purchase confirmation email is being sent. Okay, so let's scroll down and let's select this black shirt over here. Okay, so we want to purchase this shirt. We are going to choose a size and we are going to choose only one. Okay, so I'm going to click on add to cart. And now I'm going to click on view cart. Okay, so our shirt has been added. So now let's click on proceed to checkout. Okay, so here's our product details and I actually have put in the details earlier. So it's using cookies to uh, fill out this form. So first name John Doe, company name nothing, country, street address, town, state, California, zip code, phone number. 
So our information has been set up. Now we're going to click on place order and check that our purchase confirmation email is being sent. Okay, so we, let's click on the place order button. Okay, so it says, thank you, your order has been received and here's the details over here. So let's go back to our email address and see if everything is working. And you can see our uh, email is working perfectly. Over here, you can see the new order has arrived. You have received the following order from John Doe. And uh, this is here and the billing address is over here. Congratulations on the sale. So our WooCommerce email is also working perfectly. Okay, so let's get back to our dashboard. Okay, so let's go to our WordPress dashboard now. So everything is working perfectly. So that is how you can basically send emails from your WordPress local host. Now, before finishing this video, um, you might be wondering why you want to send emails from your WordPress local host. So let me just quickly explain. So if you're creating a WordPress website, you need to check the various functions and if they're working properly, right? So the contact form, purchase orders, etc. So you need to check if the email functionality is working properly or not. So we have already tested, so everything is working perfectly. Okay, so that does it for today's video. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If it was, give it a like, share this video, and of course, subscribe to this channel to get more helpful videos on WordPress. Okay, so till the next video, see ya, take care, bye.